Engineers and scientists are the world's problem solvers. Around 60 years ago, we were just beginning to understand the complexities of DNA. If you've ever studied biology or seen the movie Jurassic Park, you probably have heard about DNA, the molecular blueprint of all living things. In 1983, Carrie Mollis revolutionized molecular biology by demonstrating that DNA can be replicated to make billions of copies via the polymerase chain reaction. PCR is now an important medical diagnostic tool and is applied in several areas. Here's how it works. The PCR mixture is first heated and then the double-stranded DNA unwinds to yield two single strands. The temperature is then lowered when target-specific primers bracket the region of amplification. Finally, the temperature is raised again and the polymerase enzyme extends the single strands to yield two DNA molecules. Current PCR systems are expensive and not efficiently designed. What if we could engineer a cheap, portable, and rapid PCR device that runs off of USB power and uses just a smartphone camera for analysis? Aggie engineers at Texas A&M University are doing just that by developing a novel PCR system which works on the principle of lavalance. Small cylindrical reactors containing PCR mixture are heated from below, causing the fluid to circulate due to thermal instabilities. The convected flow automatically shuffles the PCR mixture from the hot bottom region to the cold top region repeatedly, enabling rapid PCR. The World Health Organization estimates that around 2 billion people lack access to basic medical care. Expanded availability of such technologies as this will be a key to enabling rapid identification of infectious agents in third world countries.